Um, probably kindergarten or first grade. I um, just always loved drawing, painting, um, and people would give me compliments. So I guess that's when I kind of discovered that I was good at it. And then it just became my thing. Definitely acrylic. I love acrylic paint. Um, it's versatile. It's just, you can do a lot with it, so. Um, my favorite artists, they have lots. Um, I like Jeff Donaldson, Frida Kahlo, and then the usual su suspects, Monet, uh, Wayne Thiebaud. I really like color, so anyone who paints with a lot of color, I, I dig them. I get lots of colors. <laughs> I like all colors. Um, but I think I'm drawn to lime green for some reason. Um, I always, like if there's, you know, something, say in a Home Depot, or Home Goods, Home Goods, <laughs> I, I am drawn to it. Like I, I drawn to that color, but I like all colors. I think gray is a great color. I think it's, uh, you know, underrated. Um, it can be, you know, beautiful. Any color is beautiful. It depends on how you use it. Um, so my family and I travel a lot. We actually just spent this past summer, I'm summer, sorry, past winter um, in Brazil. And then before that, we were in Colombia, like most of the winter. Um, and this coming winter, we're gonna be going to Vietnam. But I'm really looking forward to going to Cape Verde because that is my heritage, my culture. People. <laughs> I really like painting faces. Um, they're, you know, interesting. But I like to paint lots of other things as well, landscapes, still lives, but people are my favorite. Um, you know you're done with a painting when you're sick of it, <laughs> when you're sick of doing it. I think there's a certain point where you're just like, okay, I, I can't do any more, I don't wanna do any more. Um, you get to a point where it feels done and you feel like if I put any more into this, it's gonna be too fussy or too busy, so I'm done. Color theory. I love color. I love teaching it. Um, it's really cool, especially teaching it to people who, um, you know, don't know much about color theory and then they have these like aha moments when you're teaching them different things, it's fun. That's difficult to say. Um, all of my paintings, I feel like they're like my babies because <laughs> so I create them and um, sometimes it's really hard to sell them, um, but I, I have two paintings, one of my daughter and one of my son that probably are my favorite because I would never sell them and, and they're just, you know, they're precious. Like one was a painting of my daughter when she was, um, I think she was three and she's standing in my grandmother's, or her grandmother, my mother's garden. It's really cute. And then the other one is of my son when he was about four. Um, and they're just, you know, I will treasure them forever. <laughs> yes, my son told me this joke and I thought it was so cute. Um, knock, knock. Who's there? Broken pencil. Broken pencil who? Never mind, it's pointless. <laughs> <laughs>